Good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy first day of the vlog. I am driving, obviously. My eyes are on the road. So I am headed to Auburn, Alabama, where Chic Souls headquarters are located. I've been several times, so I'm going for a two-day shoot today and tomorrow. I'll be done tomorrow at noon. I'm pretty sure that's what the call sheet says. So this is my first time going and staying in a hotel since... COVID. I think I went early March, early, early March, I think. Um, but this is, I'm just going to go with this is my first time in the last six months staying in a hotel. So I did bring um, a big bottle of hand sanitizer because where I live, you can't get Lysol or anything like that. It's still sold out. So I brought a big bottle of hand sanitizer and my thoughts are when I get to the hotel, I'll squirt the hand sanitizer on stuff and just like wipe it with one of the rags that they have. That's the plan. This top also, how pretty, first of all, it's the, I hauled it in my Glitzy Girls Boutique try on haul and review. I kept it. I love it. I will link it down below if you are interested because look at this color. I think it comes in another color as well. Pink, I want to say, but this is a loud shirt and I like it. So it's about a three hour, I don't, listen, I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's about a three hour drive where I need to go. So it's about eight o'clock in the morning. I need to be there at 12. So I give myself extra time just in case, knock on wood. I feel like most times when I drive to Auburn, there's traffic backup or bad weather or something. So I always give myself extra time just so that I can be where I need to be on time. Um, I don't think I can film behind the scenes at Chic Soul, um, but I mean, I'll see ya when I'm done for the day and when I get to the hotel and stuff like that. Oh, I wanted to tell y'all the whole reason that I started this video. So my mom went and had an appointment with the radiology team. Radiation, is that the same? Radiology, radiation? I need to Google that. Uh, so she went and had an, her appointment with the radiation team. And so she'll start next week on Wednesday. And then from then on, she'll go every day minus weekends for five weeks and she'll do radiation. And then she does have maintenance drugs that she has to go in for every three weeks for probably about a year. Uh, but the radiation is the last major step. So she's looking, her hair, listen, you think I have a lot of hair? Where do you think I got it from? Okay, she has so much hair. And when it started falling out, she just ended up shaving it because it looked, she didn't like the way it looked kind of piecey. So she shaved it. And so now it's growing back quick and it's thick and it looks like it's cute. It looks like she purposely gave herself a buzz cut and it looks really cute. So I'm happy her hair's growing back. I'm happy she's feeling better. She's, you know, not 100%, but she's getting there. So I'm going to continue on my journey and I will see y'all probably tonight when I get to the hotel. riding elevators by myself. Does anybody else feel that way? I don't want to jinx it. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have even said it. All right, we are in. I just ordered me um, a Domino's pizza. I haven't had Domino's pizza in so long. I'm so hungry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you how I take my makeup off. I don't know if I've ever shown you this. It's a very like uh, two, three step process. So first I'm going to take one of these Neutrogena makeup removing wipes and wipe all this off. I need to brush my hair y'all. It is just a little bit crazy. Um, I am gonna take a shower before I eat dinner. So typically I would rub my makeup off with a wipe and then just get in the shower and wash my face. 
but I will show you for the sake of this video how uh, or what I use right now. I ordered that pizza. Well, I ordered a medium pepperoni and sausage pizza. I'm excited. I love pizza, by the way. Um, and I thought, I ordered it now because I for sure thought delivery was going to be like an hour, hour and a half. You know how pizza places are. And then I was like, we'll see you in 20 minutes. I was like, well, I wasn't really ready for that, but okay. <laughs> All right. So once I feel like I've gotten most of the makeup off, I'm going to go in with my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser and wash my face. All right, and the last step, <laughs> I literally have such a short process for washing my face. I have gone back to using the Matte Complete Comfort Cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower first, and then once I get out of the shower, I'm gonna rub that on. I'm gonna sit in front of the TV, work on the computer a little bit. I didn't do a very good job, did I? Um, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. I woke up, did my skincare, brushed my teeth, that sort of thing. I have plugged in my curling iron and a straightener. I wanna show y'all my hair when I sleep on a regular pillow. Okay, y'all know I've been sleeping on the sleeping glow at home. Well, I didn't bring it with me. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to straighten that. I'm gonna have to straighten it today. Um, anyway, all right, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do my hair in here. And because there's not like a great place to sit with like a mirror and do makeup, I just sit in the bed and like lay out all my makeup on a towel so that I can watch TV. I forgot though, there's not a local news like morning show here. That's what I always watch in hotels is the news, uh, which is like a typical news reporter, former news reporter type thing to do. Uh, they show like today's show, CBS This Morning, like that sort of thing, like national today shows, like morning shows. They don't have a local one. So I'm gonna have to find something to watch while I do my makeup. But that's the plan. Okay, hair is curled. That took about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I just lay it out here. Find something to watch on TV. We're gonna watch Ridiculousness. So I had someone comment on my last video. They noticed I used two different mascaras and asked me why, and I cannot find that comment at all to reply. So I will tell you here. So I like this one. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black for my upper lashes. It is volumizing and it lengthens really well. So I really like this one for the top, plus it's super affordable. Talking about affordable, I mean, don't look at the mess on it. The, this is the Mega Wear Wet n Wild. This is $1 at the Dollar Tree, $1. And I use this for my lower lashes because it is a bit dry. So I feel like it's easier to separate and get them. I'm doing it as I do it, like that's how I do it on my eye. <laughs> it's easier to separate. Anyway, so that's why I use two different ones. Okay, we're in the line at Starbucks now. I got, I don't really like Starbucks. I feel like the flavor is not as good as either Dunkin', and Dunkin's not even my favorite. I like the coffee I make at home, but I'm not at home. So I ordered a caramel macchiato and asked it for, asked them to make it extra sweet. So they're just gonna put more pumps of vanilla. We'll see how that goes. It is like 8.10. I have to be there at 8.30 this morning. And uh, today on the schedule, all we're shooting is TikToks. So I watch TikToks, like I don't have the app, but I watch them on like Instagram, like when someone posts them on there, but I don't watch them on the TikTok app. I've never made one. Hi. Hi. Okay, my GPS is probably gonna talk to us. So just keep that in mind, cause it's, I need it. So I know where I need to go. Um, but yeah, so see there it goes we're filming tiktoks today like that's all that they have me in for today is tiktoks and i'm ex i'm excited because i don't know Continue driving straight onto I South. okay um because i've never attempted a tiktok i mean i've done videos for instagram where you like snap in and out of outfits and stuff like that so i i understand how to do that kind of thing but y'all i can't tell you how excited i am to film these TikToks. I don't know which ones they are, but I did see the rack with the clothes um, and it's really cute stuff. We filmed a bunch of cute stuff yesterday. So I'm just here for videos. I don't know if I said that or not yet, but I'm not filming or taking any pictures for the website. I'm strictly here for social media videos. So you'll see me pop up on 
like, hey, this is a new arrival, or hey, they've restocked this outfit, that sort of thing. And then we're doing some fun stuff based on trends that I think will be popular for fall. So, that's exciting. Okay, seven miles on this road. Again, I can't show you behind the scenes, but once they pop up on Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff, I will definitely share them so that you can see them too. You don't need coffee. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Twenty. This is what Elsa would wear. This is what Belle would wear. This is what Tiana would wear. And this is what Rapunzel would wear. to you and drive because I'm not really familiar with the area and I'll see y'all probably when I get home we should be done by 12 today and then it's like a two and a half three hour drive home so I'll see y'all tonight hello happy Saturday I just got home from Hobby Lobby um, I didn't see you again last night because I came home took a shower did laundry and that was it oh wait I mean I did a bunch of work on the computer anyway all right so it is officially Saturday afternoon now um, my mom and I just left Hobby Lobby we got a bunch of stuff to decorate for my sister and my brother-in-law's birthdays so my sister's birthday is September 5th my brother-in-law's birthday is September 10th so we're just gonna celebrate on Labor Day which is September 7th this year we got a bunch of decorations so Candace or Andrew if you're watching this don't watch anymore because this video goes live before the 7th and I don't want y'all to see anything um, JC and Allie my nieces if you're watching it then that's fine <laughs> Um, but I just don't want them to see, I don't know, it's just decorations and it's fun and they don't know the theme yet for the party and I want it to be a surprise. So initially my mom and I came up with the idea to do a luau because we're going to do a pool party and grill out party. It's just us. <laughs> um, so we were going to decorate like a luau. Well, then my mom found this really cute stuff online that was black and white themed party stuff. So that's what we're going to do instead. I feel like the last time we talked about something in this room, I was wearing this shirt. Don't I like it? I am wearing bike shorts with it. Okay. Anyway, so this is the paper that we got. I have all my mom's stuff too. She just left Hobby Lobby and went home. So I, it was all in my car. All right. So I got the black matte paper for Andrew's birthday present, which is my brother-in-law. And then I got this tiny white with black polka dot for my sister. And then my mom got this one to wrap my sister's gift in. How cute are these? I'll show you the gifts too, because I need to wrap them anyways, so. Then my mom picked out this box for Andrew's gift. And she's gonna put this on it, right? Yeah, how cute is that? I got a white bow for Andrew's, cause it's the black paper. And then I got a black squiggly thingies. For my sisters i'll show you it all decorated it'll be in the next vlog though um but we had a fun time picking it out so we have black plates and we got white cups since we have the black plates and then these cute straws we got a bunch of these cute balloons so we have white balloons we have black with white polka dot balloons and then clear with white polka dot now i don't know if i'm gonna make another balloon garland I'll put the picture here of the one from my mom's party. It was huge, it was gorgeous, it took forever, ripped the skin off my hands. <laughs> um, so we're gonna, I think, do something else with these, but they just matched and they were really cute. We also got a bag of these butter mints for no other reason other than they're black and white and they match. I got a banner to put somewhere. I think we're gonna put this on the island. My mom has a white tablecloth that we're gonna put on the island because that's where all the food and the cake and stuff will go. And I thought this would be cute somewhere on the island. I did get this cake stand. We have a clear one, yes. But I thought, I mean, this one was four bucks. So I thought that this would be cute. We may use it, we may not use it, but I liked it. And then we got a couple of these chargers. They were on sale for $1.99. Yeah, $1.99. We'll do something on them, I'm not sure what, but I thought it would be cute 
on the white tablecloth. Okay, so all that stuff will be inside where all the snacks and food and stuff will be, but outside it is a pool party, so we're gonna be out there too, but I didn't wanna do a whole bunch of decorations outside too, and I didn't want them to all be black and white. So I got this really cute happy birthday iridescent sign. So this will hang outside. And then I just got these green colored paper fans to hang from the top. We have a little, not an awning, it's covered. The back part is covered. There's a table. So I thought this would be pretty hanging over the center of the table and we'll put this somewhere outside. Not much outside because it's going to be windy. I mean, Stuff's not gonna last long out there. But I thought that these were cute, but the inside, y'all, is gonna be so cute. I wanna show you two the cards that I bought for them. Hair went up. I'm gonna wrap everything in the kitchen, so the boxes are heavy. I'll take you in there too to wrap, um, but I just got a little warm. Okay, so this is the one that I got for my brother-in-law. It says, cool, classic, iconic. On the inside, it says, happy birthday to a true original. I liked it, I liked it. And then this one is for my sister, it says, Time to break out them granny panties. <laughs> and the back on the inside, it says, you're not getting older, just more comfortable. Happy birthday. Welcome to my kitchen. So we're gonna wrap them in here because these boxes are big. So this one, let me show you. My brother-in-law wanted a weed eater. So that's what he got. And then I got my sister some super cute. I'm gonna leave it in the box because the box is just easier to wrap some super cute Disney luggage. Um, it's two pieces, the smaller one is inside the larger one, but she just likes Disney so much that when I saw this, I got it for her. So it came in this box, which obviously I just said is easier to wrap. because Brian will sign it too. So I'm just gonna put these on there where I want them. I have two of them. We gonna tape them. Oh no, I'm running out of tape. I guess I'm using packing tape. There you go. We have this. This is the front because it's not, doesn't have any uh, tape or anything. So I think I'm just gonna put the bow here. <sighs> Done. It looks like we got him a rifle, doesn't it? So while I have you in the kitchen, my Ulta order came in today. So one of my friends, Lori, sent me a thing on Instagram last, not even last week, earlier in the week maybe. Um, and Ulta was having a sale. Ulta's always having a sale. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. But I did order some things because I did need some stuff. They didn't always have it in stock in my store. I don't think I spent that much money. I think I spent like 70 bucks. All right, I got a Glam Glow mask. I thought I got two of them, I did. These are my absolute favorite sheet masks and they work so well. It's almost like if I've got a blemish or something I can feel coming up, I'll use one of these and it doesn't actually develop into anything. That's just me, that's just me. I got another one of these Eco Tools sponges for my makeup. This is my favorite thing ever to use. I did also get another mitt, look how cute it is. It's just the Ulta brand um, mitt that you apply fake tan with. But I thought that one was really cute. Bronze Glow Self Tanning Sunless Tan Applicator Mitt. So there's that. Okay, so, oh my gosh, this was so expensive. 
it, it's so tiny. Are you kidding me? This was like $21. Oh no. I've heard so many great things about the Clinique Vitamin C Serum. I know Vitamin C Serums are good for your face, um, but the Clinique one specifically, I've heard so many great things about. So I thought, well, let's get it and give it a go. I didn't know that it was this tiny. Oh, geez. I mean, I guess I could have read the, the description and I didn't. That might be going back. I, I don't know about that, y'all. That's just a lot of money. Okay, I finally got my hands on the beautiful brunette Batiste dry shampoo. Y'all know I was looking for it last vlog. I did end up getting the Garnier Cocoa Coconut or something, the one that doesn't leave any residue. And I've been using it and I do like it. So, but I have one of these now. All right, last thing I got are two foundations. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation has been my favorite for a while. I kind of go between a couple different colors, like when I don't have a fake tan on and then when I do, and I was kind of getting close to being out. Also, Wet n Wild's like, I don't even think it's $5. All right, we have Golden Beige. Why does that one look different? The packaging looks a little bit different. I don't know. All right, so golden beige is my typical color. It's the one that I'm wearing today. I have mixed it a little bit with the classic beige, which is just a little bit darker, you can tell. So when I have a tan, when I don't. But I needed some of both. I'm just, I wonder why this one's in the new like matte packaging. So that's my uh, mini Ulta haul, y'all. I cannot believe do you use one drop if it's more than one drop? I mean, should I just keep it and use it? I don't know. I don't know what I've done. Um, oh, and then I have a $10 off, thank you. All right, so I'm doing laundry as well today. So I'm gonna take the sheets out of the dryer, put them back on the bed, and then I'm gonna put the comforter in the dryer. And then that's it, I laid out some hamburger meat for dinner tonight. I don't really want that, but we still haven't bought groceries. Remember last fall? we needed groceries we still haven't purchased any groceries i'll see y'all later brian's gonna go to the hunting camp tomorrow there's a vintage market in town it comes pretty often and i've never been but people get the cutest things do i want to go to that tomorrow i don't know all right i'll see y'all later happy sunday y'all so i just got out of the shower it's like 8 30 in the morning I would say Brian left to go to the hunting camp today as a work day. So I washed my face with my CeraVe stuff. Y'all know that I use that. I wanted to try this. I haven't decided, well, I was, I hadn't decided if I was going to keep it or not, but I feel like I should at least try it and see how it works. So I know you're supposed to use this after you wash your face, but before you put on your moisturizer. So, oh, I'm wearing my, uh, brother-in-law's pest control shirt. Look how cute the logo is. I don't know if cute is the right word. Okay, so we're just gonna, I think you're just supposed to pump it. Right? Oh, whoa. A lot just came out. A whole lot. It's very thin. Okay, I'm not gonna put it around like under eyes, eyelids area because I don't trust it yet. Wow, that is so, like you can't even see it on my hands anymore. It's very thin, very thin. Is that it? Is that all I'm supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to let it dry and then, oh, I think it, it screws on. And then we're gonna put on the MAC moisturizer that y'all know that I like. I bought two new ones when I was at Belk. We have, we have a Mac sort inside the Belk here. That's the only one that we have in town. We don't have like a standalone Mac store. So I got two of them when I was in town, but I'm trying to use what's left of this one. I love this stuff, y'all. If you watched me a long time ago, I used it every morning, every night. I got out of it trying a couple of other things that I liked, don't get me wrong but I didn't like them better than this. And I actually liked like this moisturizer, the way it feels on my skin throughout the day. Like once this dries, my skin is so soft. 
All right, so today I'm gonna go get my nieces. So we know my sister and my brother-in-law's birthdays, we're gonna celebrate on Labor Day, which is not this Monday, but the next Monday. So I figured I would go get them and take them to pick out something for their mom and dad for their birthdays. So that's the plan today. And then tonight, I need to stop and get something to cook for dinner tonight. Um, since Brian will be working all day at the hunting camp, I can guarantee you he's gonna be real hungry when he gets home. So we don't really have, he did go last night and get a couple things so that we could do like sloppy joes for dinner, but that was really it. Um, and we do have a bunch of veggies. We have carrots, we have um, mushrooms, we have potatoes. What else? We've got like the steamer veggies, but with, those are all fresh. And I wanna get something to go with those. So we'll probably do, I might do chicken. Chicken in that air fryer is good, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna throw my trash away. Oh, I'm gonna get dressed and I'll most likely see you at dinner. Hello and happy Wednesday. So listen, this week's vlog is a little bit all over the place and not very fun. And I apologize for that, but sometimes that's just how it happens. So typically on Wednesdays, you know, I would go to Bella Rose, but we filmed and took pictures of so much stuff last week that they didn't have anything really for me to do this week. So I woke up super early this morning and got ready and I've been filming videos, but I just got a package and I'm pretty sure it's the, I think I got them from Nordstrom Rack, the uh, like wedge heel thingies. So I have a pair of black shoes that I got from Kato. I can't even tell you how long ago, maybe a year ago. Does that sound about right? About a year ago. Um, and I wear them all the time. They're my go-to like black heel if I need, yeah, these are some more. Um, if I need a cute black heel, let me get them and I'll show you. Here we go. I wear these, there's dog hair on them. I wear them all the time. They're a size 10, which is typical. I'm anywhere from a 9 to a 10, but if I'm getting heels or boots, I'll get a 10. So they were $11.99. They were marked all the way down to $11.99, and then I think they were like 50% off of that. You've seen these in so many pictures. I wear them all the time. Well, I've been on the hunt for some more because I do like them so much and they're so comfortable. So Nordstrom Rack was having a sale, and I got a couple of pairs of similar shoes, shoes in different colors. So the brand is CL by Chinese Laundry. Let's see, I got yes, a nude pair. Okay, so they're not exact, like the strap on the toe is not as thick, but I mean, they're pretty close. They didn't have both of them in the size that I needed, so I got a pair in a nine and a half and then a pair in a size 10. So these are a size 10. I hope I like them as much. I guess if not, I can return them or maybe sell them because I think I paid $14.99 a piece. They were marked down so much to $14.99. Don't mind the outfit, okay, we know. <laughs> I'm just lounging in the house editing videos. Okay, so here's the nude pair. I will say that the toe strap is not as comfortable as those, the black ones that's a little bit thicker but these are cute. Yeah, okay, I like these, I'm happy. Yep, I will be wearing these a lot. And then I also got a pair of snakeskin printed ones. These are in a size nine and a half because they didn't have them in a 10. How pretty are these? And here we go. So these fit too. They actually fit really well. So I'm happy. Yeah, the toe is just like the strap on the toe is not as comfortable as the other ones. I wonder if they'll stretch any. I might, I may could get them to stretch some. Okay, I like them. I'm very happy. And you can't beat 15 bucks. I mean, I did beat it with the Kato ones because they were like $7. Um, I'm gonna put the Kato ones on just in case if you wanna see them. Here we go. These are just so comfortable that I can wear them for hours and I have no issues because they just fit so well. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog because all I'm doing today is editing videos and I need to edit you so that you can watch this tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's vlog, even though we didn't really do a whole lot of fun stuff. 
Um, I hope you still enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my videos. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.